Greetings everyone, this is Matthew Moretz, one of the priests at St. Bartholomew's in New York City, and today I'd like to give you a closer look at our beautiful Sanctus window. It's a spectacle of glass and stone and light, a whopping 24 feet in diameter, made the 1940s, and it's actually one big gift given in memory of Lily Vanderbilt Field by her mother, Emily Vanderbilt White. This window is chock full of angels. It's a way of talking about a message from God. And the word angelos, angel, actually means messenger. And one of the ways that you can portray an angel in art is as a person with wings. When they're not sending messages, angels are said to be singing to God in heaven. And that's why we call it the Sanctus window, because Sanctus is the name of a song that the angels sing. We read about these songs in the visions of the prophet Isaiah and of St. John the Divine who wrote the book of Revelation. There, the song that the angels sing is Sanctus, Sanctus, Sanctus in Latin. In English, it's Holy, Holy, Holy. Now, the church has also taken on this song of the angels. We sing it every time we prepare to take the bread and the wine at Holy Communion. The great thing about this window is that the artists distinguish the angels in all kinds of ways. It really gives the angels character. They've given one type of angel, the cherubim, blue wings. The cherubim in Hebrew are the ones who plow the fields of heaven for God. But in this window, they're seen kneeling in prayer and offering up incense. You can see another greater rank of angel, the seraphim. They're portrayed with red wings. These in Hebrew are the burning ones and they are seen to be attending to the saints and the prophets that are in heaven. The closer you get to the center of the piece, the angels get more important. Here you can see the larger seraphim, the larger cherubim. They each have six wings that are covered with eyes. They also share a place with the thrones, another type of angel. The thrones, or the ophanim, convey God's justice and authority. You can recognize them by the thrones or chairs that are underneath them. Paul had a vision of these. And next to the thrones, you can discover the archangels. These are the highest rank of angels, the only ones with names. And you can recognize who is who by the symbols that they're holding. The archangel Uriel bears the symbol of the sun, for his name means fire of God. The archangel Raphael carries a pilgrim's staff with a pouch full of medicine. His name means medicine of God. Gabriel means man of God, and he appeared to Daniel, Zacharias, and most importantly, Mary. At the Annunciation, he told her that she was going to bear Jesus. You can recognize him by his announcing trumpet. And finally, there's the Archangel Michael, captain of the hosts of heaven. This angel's name is actually a rhetorical question, which means, who is like God? His staff has a cross on top of it, a globe that he holds has a cross on it, and his robes are dyed with crosses. This is a triple association with the very center of the piece, the very center of heaven itself, a sun eclipsed by the cross. And the flames reach out and almost touch the archangels. This center feature, the sun cross, is nothing less than the very heart of God, which all the saints and prophets and angels are circling in heaven with their dance and their prayers and their song. What is this? This is the shining light of God's love, a love that's not defeated by the cruel, torturous cross. The worst of the earth is somehow inscribed in the center of heaven, and the darkness doesn't overcome it. As a final note, another one of the ways that we can talk about the angels that we call thrones is as wheels. And so in the book of the prophet Ezekiel, we read that in his vision, he saw the Ophanim, these angels, as wheels within wheels. And I think it's no coincidence that this window was made in the shape of a wheel. It's a wheel window with spokes of stone throughout it. And so if you think about it, this window is actually in the shape of a great angel. One great message from God. Wow. <laughs> What a vision.